Hello and welcome to Foundered Money. My name is Connor, the host of this channel. Today, we're gonna answer the question, well, what is lean fire? And the word fire. Lean fire is often the most common mental image conjured up when people think about financial independence. It is also the most misunderstood with some people believing that living frugally means a life of deprivation and they couldn't be more wrong. You're wrong. For many, a minimal or frugal life is incredibly rewarding and a choice they willfully made for their own personal reasons. When it comes to fire, your path and destination are wholly unique. They are based on your personal wants, needs, and ultimately the cost that it will take to support these indefinitely. However, if we consider the types of fire to be a journey, lean fire is the first, and in my opinion, the most important stop. Achieving lean fire means that you've covered your most basic living expenses, including food, transportation, clothing, and shelter. Lean fire is the frugal path to financial independence, and many choose to cut their expenses to an extreme level. They often do this by living in a van or a tiny home, by moving to a lower cost of living area, or indeed, moving across the world to a lower cost country. But that's not the only way you can achieve lean fire. By keeping your costs minimal, lean fire helps you accumulate wealth quicker. And if you maintain this level of spending over the long term, it becomes much more sustainable. What is FIRE, I hear you ask? The Financial Independence Retire Early Movement, the FIRE movement, is growing in popularity across the world with a huge number of people choosing to forgo a 40 or 50 year working life in favour of saving and investing aggressively to shorten their career into 10 or 20 year time frame. Yes, my friends, you can retire in only 10 years with enough effort and focus. Wow. That said though, it took me 13 years from start to finish and I tried pretty damn hard. If you want to learn how to retire early in your 40s just like me, head over to founder.co.uk and sign up for my free mini course and weekly newsletters where I take the last 13 years of knowledge on financial independence and retiring early and put that into a robust but easy to follow 10 day course. In this video, I cover lean fire. However, there are six types of fire that you might strive to achieve. In my coming videos, I will cover all of these including barista fire, traditional fire, coast fire, chubby fire, or indeed the top of the pops, fat fire. Consider each of these early retirement types as a scale. You can slide it up or down. The only difference between each of them is how much you spend. What is lean fire? Well, I regard lean fire as the first milestone on the path of financial independence. While it isn't for everyone, lean fire embraces minimalism and frugality where you reduce costs and expenses to a level where the essential spending is met but little else. I was first introduced to the concept of lean fire in 2010 when I read Jacob Lund Fisker's book, Early Retirement Extreme. Jacob lived frugally on only $7,000 per year, and this allowed him to retire at the very early age of 30. It is important to note that while Jacob lived a quiet life, it was no less rewarding. It's true that he didn't have international travel in his budget or a new car every year, but he made smart financial choices through simple living and increased self-reliance. And all of this allowed him to exit the workplace incredibly early. Financial independence is unique for each and every person who is striving to achieve it. Your journey and the destination are personal to you and you alone. Practicing frugality and embracing life with less can lead to a more meaningful and a happier life away from the distractions of modern day living. It's $500, you have no choice of carrier, the battery can't hold a charge, and the reception isn't very- Shut up and take my money! Lean fire means that you can only afford the essentials in life, but some would also argue that this is more than enough. I have no doubt there are some people watching this video already in horror and could not comprehend living such an existence. However, there will also be others who would fully embrace a minimal or frugal existence if it meant they could stop working early. Personally, lean fire isn't for me. However, when choosing to pursue financial independence, I definitely give consideration to significantly reducing my cost of living. By budgeting extensively, I credit this to changing my attitude where I now only spend money on the things that truly bring me value. And this, of course, was the catalyst for my my own journey towards fire. How much you need to lean fire really depends on how much your life costs you or could potentially cost you in the future. Those who intend to retire early and follow a lean existence will aim to cover their basic life essentials such as food, transportation, clothing and of course shelter. 
They will also make great efforts to reduce the costs of each of these areas to an absolute minimum. With food, they will eat cheaply, batch cooking and rarely eating out, and these will be the main tenets of keeping your food costs low. Some choose to reduce their meat intake or become vegetarian entirely. Learning to cook a wide variety of food will ensure you never get bored and that you will always eat a well-balanced but affordable diet. Since retiring, I have enjoyed cooking so much more. With the time to source recipes and prepare my food, it is no longer a chore, but rather an activity that I look forward to each day. Transportation then. Transport is often one of the most expensive line items in a home's budget. Commuting to work or heading out for pleasure can rack up costs quickly and for little return. Many choosing to lean far will look at more sustainable transportation such as walking or even just taking your bike to local or medium journeys. For longer journeys though, public transport is always the most affordable option. And if a car is needed in the household, an older but reliable vehicle that is fully paid off is a great way to keep your transportation costs low. Clothing. In the age of fast fashion, you can clothe yourself incredibly cheaply. Or you could choose to shop at vintage or pre-loved stores for affordable and often more durable clothing. Dressing well for less has never been more accessible than it is today. Shelter. It would be unusual for those focused on lean fire to purchase too much home. Instead, they are more likely to look to minimise their footprint. Apartments tiny homes or even van life helps to reduce the cost of living both in the cost of the roof over your head and the utilities to keep it heated and in light. To understand how much you need to lean fire you need to know what your essential costs are. Budgeting is the cornerstone of any financial plan. You'll hear that from me all the time. And whether or not you want to lean fire or fat fire, you will never be able to do so if you spend more than you earn. Look at your previous spending habits. You have decided to make changes and that's a wonderful thing. Your previous spending habits may be something that you're not entirely proud of, but they are the past and they will never ever define your future. We do need to know where we're starting from. So in a Google Sheet or a spreadsheet, detail all of your current expenses from the past month, determine whether or not each line item is discretionary or essential, be ruthless. If it hit the fan tomorrow and you had to cut back on all but essential items, what would these be? Telling up all of your costs of the essential items will give you a decent indication of what your lean fire budget could be. It won't be fully accurate as it is only a reflection of the past month or the past quarter where some bills such as insurance or council tax may be paid annually. Give considerations to those costs also if they are applicable to you. The second step is to set and follow your lean fire budget. It's important to note that a budget is forward looking. When we set our lean fire budget this is what we will expect to spend over the next month or over the next year. Knowing that you're able to live and maintain this level of spending over the rest of your life is key, is key to knowing how much you need to lean fire. The 4% rule comes from the 1998 Trinity study which attempted to determine safe withdrawal rates from retirement portfolios. Knowing our annual budget we can determine the total level of money we will need to have invested which will allow us to withdraw that sum from our retirement funds each year and forevermore. I will add the caveat that I personally think the 4% rule is too liberal a withdrawal rate for two main reasons. This study was conducted in the USA and not here in the UK and secondly for extremely early retirees like like you and I, the length of time drawing from these investments would suggest a need for a little bit more prudent approach. With that said, when I was starting out on my journey towards financial independence, I did use a 4% rule. And even considering the points that I've just mentioned, I do suggest people use it as the basis of their initial calculations for FIRE. Assuming the 4% rule, we would therefore need 25 times our annual budget invested in stocks to achieve our lean FIRE goal. To give you an example of this, if our lean FIRE budget is £15,000. We'll multiply that by 25 and that will give us a lean fire budget of £375,000. Well if you're earning £30,000 and you're living on £15,000 per year while investing the remaining income then you could retire in just over 14 years. In the chart that I'm showing now that will show the deposits that you make each year over those 14 years and it will show you the interest that's accrued over that time period as well. This example assumes your invested money will receive an average growth of 8.5% per year and a savings rate of 50%. 
You need to reduce your expenses. Lean Fire is achieved when your investments total 25 times your basic living expenses. Reducing your expenses or increasing your savings rate and investing your surplus money are the two core ways to achieve Lean Fire. For every one pound you remove from your expenses, you will need 25 pounds less invested. The speed at which you achieve Lean Fire comes from two primary factors, your savings rate percentage and the rate of return. The more you can save and invest as a percentage of your income makes a huge difference to the length of time it takes for you to achieve fire. In the previous example, we assumed a 50% savings rate, income £30,000 and your expenses being £15,000. And it took 14 years to reach your FAR number. But if you earned £30,000 and saved and invested 10% each year, then your FAR number would now be £675,000 and it would take you 36 years to achieve this using the same rate of return at 8.5%. In addition to our savings rate, we also need to consider the rate of return on our investments. In the examples that I've used previously, I've used 8.5% return. But if we base this on the Life Strategy 100 accumulation fund average return since its inception in 2011, and these dates are applicable from the 31st of March, then you could assume 10.96% average return. Now, Past returns are no indication of future results, but it will give us an idea of what a greater return rate will do for our savings and investments. Taking our £675,000 as a total to fire, we could now achieve this six years sooner in year 30. Achieving Lean Fire will allow you to live life knowing that your most basic needs and expenses are fully met. With a smaller sum needed to achieve Lean Fire, saving and investing to reach this goal is much more achievable. You can do it! By stripping back the excess and leading a life of minimalism, many people report a happier yet simpler life. If consumerism has a grasp on you, then breaking this cycle can sometimes help you to refocus on the things that you value and are willing to put your time, money and focus into. Ditching the car in favour of walking or cycling has huge benefits when it comes to your own personal fitness. Let's go walking, that's what to do. Go walking, stepping out is good for you. Health professionals around the world are now saying that sitting is the new smoking. Getting up and getting active will not only help you maintain a healthier lifestyle, but it may also help you live a better life. Go walking, that's what to do. Workplace stress is one of the major influences on our personal well-being. By quitting the workforce, you can remove that stress from the working world. It won't completely remove stress from your life, I promise you that, and I'll say that with honesty, but it definitely goes a long way. Lean fire is not for everyone. While the advantages and the benefits are significant, it is not without its own challenges and risks. For example, this past 18 months, the cost of living crisis has gripped the UK and Ireland, and that has been weathered by most. However, if you're living on a lean fire budget, you might not have any room to manage the increased costs across the board. You may not have any room to reduce your expenses further, and so these inflationary challenges could easily put you into a situation where your most basic needs are no longer met. When saving for lean fire, your goal is to save and invest enough to meet your basic living expenses. When you consider that the 4% rule is based on keeping your investments invested, this means you will be more vulnerable to swings in the value of your investments as the market goes up and down. A significant or prolonged market decline, especially in the early years of your post lean fire retirement, could wipe out your savings and investments. Lean fire also assumes that your life will stay relatively unchanged and that your life costs will only increase through inflation and not necessarily due to lifestyle creep or life changes. Adding a child or children to your lean fire costs may be completely out of the question entirely and if the decision to have children lies within a financial decision or partly within a financial decision, then your current lean fire budget may not even be able to afford that. Of course, the negatives and drawbacks of lean fire could just be mitigated by earning more money. In the worst case scenarios, that's exactly what many in the lean fire cohort are prepared to do. It's easy to look at Lean Fire and think that that's not for you, but Lean Fire is a big deal. In achieving this, you've already accomplished so much. 
It provides a significant state of financial security and I promise you it gives you peace of mind. For many, Lean Fire represents a fulfilling life of simplicity and minimalism, but it may also be the starting point for the rest of your fire journey. When you have guaranteed your financial security, would you feel comfortable quitting your job? Might you take an extended career break? Or could you take a mini midlife retirement? Lean Fire might be the end of your journey, but it might also just be the start. As someone who has achieved Lean Fire, you could consider continuing to work, but leaving your investments to grow over the next 10, 15 or 20 years would allow you then to progress towards the definition of Coast Fire. Or if you decided to quit your current job and partially fund your life with a lower paid or lower stress job, this would be a progression into the Barista Fire stage. What's important to remember is that financial independence and retiring early is a journey. You can start when you want, you can stop when you want, and if you don't like your current location, then you can just hop back on the path. There is no right or wrong answer, only what is right for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because in the next few videos, I'll be sharing all the different stages of financial independence and how you can achieve those in your own circumstances. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.